Hello and welcome to What's New with Cisco U, the monthly series where we tell you the learning and cert stuff you should know. This month we were live and in person at Cisco Live in Amsterdam. We were talking about AI, security, cloud, and the brand new Rev Up to Research AI program. In this episode, Ryan is going to break down what learning and certifications was focused on at Cisco Live. Jason will talk about some new tutorials that were uploaded to Cisco U for free. Dalton is talking about CML 2.8. Patrick is breaking down a certification that he took on site. Uma will be demoing a new feature available within Cisco U. And we'll have a customer story talking about her CCIE and what that meant for her career. Hi, I'm Ryan Rose, Director of Skills and Certifications for Cisco Learning Certification, and we're here at Cisco Live in Europe. Uh, we're really excited because I know that if you're at home or if you're at this event, you've been hearing a lot of news, whether it's about AI, it's about some of our security advancements. And one of the things that I'm really excited to say is for every major announcement that's been here at Cisco Live in Europe 2025, we have training for you on Cisco U. Log into u.cisco.com and you can learn about every single thing that you might have seen at the keynotes, heard from our major speakers, or maybe even seen in the news. At this event, we're talking about three things. We're talking about AI and AI infrastructure. We're talking about security and cybersecurity skills. And we're talking about network modernization. For AI and AI infra, if you're looking to get started and you're trying to learn about, hey, what is AI? We have an amazing tutorial for you. It's called Understanding AI and LLMs for the Network Engineer. Uh, it's available on u.cisco.com. You can reach it just by clicking the uh, link right when you log in at the top of the page. There, once completed, you can also earn a badge through Credly called AI for Networking. For um, others that are looking to build professional skills, entry to expert on how you build AI infrastructure, we have an entirely amazing premium course that's av available for free right now until March 24th. It's called AI Infrastructure on Cisco Solutions Essentials. And it's gonna teach you everything from AI basics to data preparation, inferencing, training, and even how to build and design AI networks. For security and cybersecurity, we have a number of things, whether it's uh, tutorials on uh, our new uh, HyperShield tools or AI defense. So if you're learning, looking to learn like eBPF, we have a tutorial for you. And finally, for network modernization skills, for how you can build uh, using automation, for how you can take advantage of things like Wi-Fi 7, what we want to recommend is go to u.cisco.com. We've developed a tremendous amount of brand new um, tutorials as well as premium training to help build up those skills so that way you're ready to work on the modern network. What's really cool is we've uh, integrated with the CTF platform, Capture the Flag. So now, not only can you learn concept and theory, you can get your skills and put them into practice. Uh, so those are the three things that I would say you need to know when you're here at Cisco Live in Europe. Uh, with that, I'll just say I want to encourage everybody to get started today. Uh, you can do so much, and I can't wait to see what you're going to create and build with these skills uh, on Cisco U. Hi, Jason Belk here at Cisco Live Amsterdam. We want to share with you the new and exciting tutorials we have here in February 2025. We have Cisco IOS XR, some Silicon One tutorial on adding or moving packages related to the new announcement from G2 around Silicon One. We have switch ports with port security, Ether Channel 1, some Layer 2 discovery protocols, lots of great new tutorials for you to check out on Cisco U. So check, check them out, they're completely free. Sign up on ciscoucom slash tutorials, thanks. Hi everyone, Patrick here from the Learning and Certifications team. Listen, I have a question for you. Are, are you a field technician? Are you a junior network technician who gets sent out on site to maybe install a new router, go repair a device, maybe it's a data center device that you know, you need to change a fan or a power supply or even a line card. Maybe it's a collaboration device. The, the, the camera, it needs to be replaced. If, if that's you, I've got some exciting news. So uh, we've recently updated the CCT certification, Cisco Certified Technician Certification, uh, and we've updated the exam. So th this is the exam right here. The exam code is 800-150. And you can tell by the title of the exam, Supporting Cisco Devices for Field Technicians. Now, what's interesting here, I really want to like highlight this. 
this certification actually used to be three different exams. One for routing and switching, so how to, how to be a field engineer for those devices, right? So switches and routers in an enterprise network. There was another one for data center devices, so how to manage and, and kind of fix data center um, and nexus switches, for example. And then the other one was the collaboration one, right? All around the, the WebEx and the phones. We've kind of gotten rid of all three of those and created one exam. So with the one exam, you get this certification and the exam tests you across all of that. So as a field technician, I'm well prepared to either be sent to a data center to fix a Nexus switch. Um, I'm well prepared to be sent on site to fix a WebEx board. And I'm also well prepared to go in an enterprise uh, closet, network closet, and repair a router or a switch that's there as well. So please have a look at this. Uh, it just released on Monday. I took the exam yesterday. It's 100 questions, so it's a longer exam than they used to be, but you got plenty of time. I think it's 120 minutes, and it's a really interesting exam. As I said, it covers all of the areas of technology that Cisco focuses on, and there's a really interesting part of the exam that is really all about the basics of networking, so subnetting, OSI model, TCP IP, how to connect to a router with a console cable. So from start to finish, it really covers everything you need to know. So good luck, and hopefully you get the certification. If you have not yet updated to CML 2.8, I highly recommend you do so. We have some really cool features in this newest edition that we released a couple of months ago. First one is smart annotations. And this is really cool because you can tag certain areas of your network, say like OSPF or BGP, and then apply those tags to specific nodes, and it'll create the annotation automatically. So it's really cool. And it's really dynamic too. So if you were to like click and drag the actual node around, it stays in that annotations. Um, we still have the basic annotations as well, like being able to draw boxes and text as well. Um, also with 2.8, there is the new addition of the next-gen firewall virtual images, specifically Firepower Threat Defense, FTDV, and the Firepower Management Control Center, FMCV. So be sure to check that out. Whether you are new to tech or a seasoned professional, there are a lot of options when it comes to new learning inside Cisco U. How do you prioritize what to do next if you don't have a specific certification or skill in mind? We are thrilled to announce a major new feature to enhance your learning experience and help you choose a path, topic-based discovery available under Learn. Uncover topics handpicked by our expert team in demand skills and certifications for your next career move, as well as popular topics and trending topics. This shows you how each topic fits into the tech landscape and might even lead you into a new career direction. Selecting a topic gives you quick tutorials along with learning paths, other curated content, and certifications. Go give topic-based discovery a try and learn something unexpected today. I hold a CCIE, Enterprise Infrastructure. I have a very uh, unique path to the certification because I was part of a program back in the days where Cisco brought some people that worked at Partners for a training at boot camp in San Francisco. And then after that boot camp, we worked as tech engineer inside Cisco. I was based in Sao Paulo, Brazil. So I worked for three months inside Cisco. And the way they evaluated the program was to have the candidates, the, the, the participants take the, the written exams and I did it and I passed it. So I went straight to the CCIE. I did not do the CCNA, CCNP. I had a lot of um, ex uh, work experience. I was working on network for a while. So that's, I, that's why I went straight to the CCIE. So we opened a lot of doors, gave me a lot of opportunities and like not only on a professional level, like in uh, several different ways, was very fulfilling, very um, significant. And basically I think the, the most is like he opened a lot of doors and helped me grow um, and in my career a lot. I think my favorite thing was connecting to people. This is my first Cisco Live, believe it or not. And I, I love it. Like I'm, I, I, I'm getting a lot out of it, but I think my favorite thing was to connect with people like the VIPs from the Cisco Learning Network and that we interact almost on a daily basis, virtually. And then I got to meet some of those people in person. So that was, that's pretty cool. I've been trying to uh, develop like um, automation and, you know, programmability skills. A lot of the sessions I'm, I'm joining are, are um, in that town. So I've been learning a lot 
from on DevNet skills. My favorite thing, we get to learn and help other people learn at the same time. If you haven't already, make sure you go to u.cisco.com and check out our brand new RevUp to Reset program all about AI. AI Solutions on Cisco Infrastructure Essentials is available now until March 24th. We are about at the halfway point of this RevUp to Reset program. You have um, a little over a month to complete 34 hours of training. If you complete this learning path and have active certifications, you will receive 34 continuing education credits. And that is enough to recertify a CCNA. Let us know what you think about Cisco's AI updates. Will you be pursuing a CCDE AI certification? Do you use AI as a network engineer already? If you enjoyed this video and are enjoying our weekly content from our tech experts, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Make sure you never miss an upload. I hope you are having a good day wherever you are around the world and happy learning.